Let's do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Where's welcome a back. Yellow to... warning. Listen. I thought a wait, yellow warning was a sheet wait, in the morning. Wait. Before we even just started there, I said we're trying we're trying to be more professional. I'm Fuck. looking at a new camera. We're going to upgrade everything. And I say, ladies and gentlemen, well, and you interrupt. Oh. And for three years, I've said, hold on. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Maybe they like the madcap call it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it's it. Like Tiz was. I'm not doing it. Right. You're, go, go no, on. no, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it now. No, I don't care. I'm not doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another folk in Scotland. See if I had a fucking that, gift I'd for melt. you. I had a gift for you. No, you don't. And I don't fancy giving it to you no, now because you you, you you you've been a you've been a mopey mini. Uh, listen, are you on the blob? I might be. I might be. No, it's quite the opposite today, actually. Anti blob. Uh, Anti blob. Because before you get started, uh -huh. I'm going to tell you what today's show's about. Okay, let's get okay. Everything's doom and gloom. Banks are closing. Everything. No, nerd banks. Yeah, I know, but. Hold on, it was Etsy money and it was Uber money and it was stuff like that all being held, a, a big deal. But, so, but you but know, banks aren't allowed to fail. HS, you know? HSBC bought it for a pound. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, here's what's happening. Plus happened. we're building those Australian submarines. Australian death machines? No, they're, they're nuclear submarines, but they're not nuclear submarines. Okay. They're nuclear power, but they don't have a nuclear payload. Yes. Um, Conventional. Well, well, what's the point of them? Well, they're going to be around 2050, they reckon. The first one's going to be in the water. Not long to wait. Drop anchor in 2050. Jesus. I, I wouldn't have trust an Australian on a bungee rope. I, that's why I don't do bungee jumping. It's not. It's you've Australian. said it's all Australians. It's 99% Australian. It's Australians. not. I met someone from New Zealand that done it. I will, okay. So it's <laughs> I'm gonna make me slightly <laughs> They're the fush and chops Fush and chops Is it fush and, fush and chops Yeah but Australians are a wee bit zany I don't trust them Oh god Have we any Australian listeners? Not now Some people say they're like Cut price Americans Not me Not you Not me And poor New Zealanders Get sort of Pulled into fush the Fush and chops Yeah Fush and chops I love, Mistaken for love being Australian New love to Don't go want New that love to go New Zealand. So what I wanted to do today uh -huh. Was good news Ah, I went to look no. for happy stories. You've you've fallen into a little trap. What? About twenty years ago, there was no. a BBC One guy newsreader. Yeah, I forget his hair. His hair color. I, I remember his hair color, not his name. Okay, Martin something possibly. He had okay. sandy colored hair, and his whole thing was news is so doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is a happy news thing, like mm -hmm. happy news, because even news round was all about the end of the world. It doesn't That's work. No, Nobody's no, no. interested. No, no, no. I have improved it. Because they done little trite stories of someone raised a pound for a pencil at school. No, no, no. No, no, no. My stories are good stories that people all feel a sense of relief. Uplifted. Not just a sense of relief. Gary Glitter's back in jail. That's the that... second story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? You're on the, the he, same page. He gets out of the pedo wing. Yep. He goes into the world. He's allowed a fucking smartphone. I don't understand. For yeah. The first thing he does is a Alexa. No, it's Google on yeah. smartphones. How do they get on the deep that web? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I want to get some pedo pictures. What the fuck? Straight Take back. him out back and he, shoot him. He wanted back in jail. Jesus, that he's a so I take terrifying it, I take it person. they've given him a phone. I don't think that I don't think he'd be allowed a phone. No, I, I, think, th I think they've given him a phone, but it's just it's the, they've said this is your phone, and they're just watching him through it. I, th oh, that's I think a good, so because be he's thing. tagged. He's got an ankle bracelet. Or you 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 get someone like that in their halfway house, oh, yeah. and you leave a phone lying around, he's like, oh. and, he's and they're just feeling like, get that get back in your prick. In. So that see you're on the same page okay, as me. That's, that's a good story. That's good news. Now the first one is don't don't like the Oscars. Don't care. But to see Brendan Fraser at least be recognised for being a human, because life kicked his arse for the last. He did go through a years. funny phase. But all do. He was one of these main uh, advocate guys for a spell. He wasn't. He wasn't wanting to pay uh, alimony and stuff. He had a period, mate. He's no. All, I. Yeah. Yeah. He, but, he said he was bankrupt. He had money. Uh, no, I believe he was bankrupt. Oh, I think he actually was he bankrupt for a money? while. No, he said he had no money, did, so he didn't have to give his wife money. Yeah, but I, I don't I, think he was bank no, bankrupt. No, I think he was. I think I he actually so. was for I a don't period. Think so. I think he was. I think it was because like, you have to remember, bankrupt is below a certain point, so you could still see him living mm, and all this no, sort of stuff. I think he was hiding his money. I, I like what's his name? I don't like, think he was because Blade did that. He said he'd no money. Blade. 
Oh, no, Wesley. no, but Wesley Snipes was a part of this pyramid cult that was refusing tax. to pay tax and all this sort of thing. Brendan Fraser, yeah, he, the sadness of it is, yeah, he, God, I watched a film he was in recently, Journey to the Centre of the Earth. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. terrible. A terrible film. He's a bit where he, 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 he punches a plant in the face, like that, but a kind of bad club punch. It's I would not, punch a plant. Good. Yeah. But he, he, he did those mummy films. The first one's a hoot. That's brilliant. Im- Imhotep. Love it. I love the shit special effects. The so second good. one has a kid in it. The, yeah. se- the second one's got the kid, which is kind of bad because the kid's a cunt. An yeah. absolute cunt. Yeah. The special effects are really terrible in it. Oh, they've, really, they've, they've rushed it. They rushed it. They, out need, to a, make they need a sequel. That's the same director that did that Van Helsing shit. Oh, God. He's a Van terrible... Helsing's like having a stroke it's watching t- a film. Everything's yeah. in it. Oh. Yeah. It's a, oh, I don't want to think about it. But the third one, he, that was a cash cow. They but just back. the third one, his son is older than him. His son is 40 years old. I don't <laughs> understand it. But it's so bizarre. Old, old Rachel Vice is like, fuck this shit. I'm not going back. So Maria Bello came. Yeah, I like her as I well. Love her. I like her. And then there was Michelle Yeoh and Jet Li. And uh, they would just pull anybody in shy. to get the money. And it, you had all these names. Yeah, but, and but it was he, shit. he hurt his back in that film. That's right. So that's what fucked him. And then he was sexually assaulted by some famous Hollywood yeah. guy. And that was it. The thing is, if that you look, it. if you it look at him. his face, yes, good looking guy. Yeah, but he he always had a bulbosity to his eyes. So that's okay. people have said, what's happened to the poor bastard? How's he changed? He's not. He's just, that's what happens to you. Yeah. He's yes, just, so. he's always going to be looking like that. The thing is, he loses his hair and he's going to get And bulbous. that's fine. I yeah. like that. Get older. It's like when you see Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, because he's holding on to his youth as much oh, as no, possible, he looks like a scary doll he's now. Not, he's not held on to that. And it's like, he can't. He's so bloated. Who dresses him? It's like no, he's covered himself in Pritt stick and no, rolled through the wardrobe. He's like one of those. He's like a wee lassie that gets into their mum's like yeah haberdashery. Yeah, that I, I just, would say listen, too many rings. Scarf. They're weighing your hands down. He thinks he's like that Keith Richards cunt. Yeah, no, nah, he's. Am he's, I? Did I imagine that Paul McCartney's in one of those Pirates of the Caribbean films? Did oh, I? I've not know? seen them all. They're making another one. All oh, right, okay. I've not seen. He them spent all. ten thousand pounds on a, an ant farm. Johnny Depp. <laughs> Listen. But Brendan Fraser, th- what I hate about the Oscars, yeah. it's got nothing to do with good films. The, the zeitgeisty films of each time, of each period, uh-huh. they never win. It's an right. Oscar film. So Green Book won. Nobody's seen Green Book. That's Nobody's speaking correct. Green Book. A three, three boards outside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That. that was an Oscar. I've seen and it, it wasn't very good. No, it's not. I didn't like a, it. Yeah. Traffic. That Paul Hart. Oh, I didn't like I hated traffic. These films I, get Oscars. I didn't enjoy it. A, that Everything Everywhere All at Once, which Loved I've it. not seen yet, which I've heard is Loved it. Um, that's one this primarily because it's Asian representation. Uh, you know what I think? It's something mm. different. Right. I think it's something no, different. I, th- I think primarily. No, no, not at all. I'm going to disagree and I'll tell you why. Last year, because uh-huh. of Will Smith fucking the whole Oscars right. up and making... Now, in retrospect, the Oscars didn't do anything about them. They just let them sit there and then everyone cheered them and hugged them nice. after he assaulted yeah, someone. Yeah. It made the Oscars look really bad and it was one of the lowest rated ones ever. Okay, okay. And they had to do something mm. and it's all the populist vote. If Brendan Fraser didn't win that Oscar... I think they would have been finished okay. if oh. Michelle Yeoh didn't win it. How I many think it would have been finished. How many people have actually watched that film, though? The niche. The, the whale, I think it's done really, really Are well. Sure? Are yeah. you sure? Yeah. Uh, I'm not so sure. There's a, there's a, there's yeah, a, there's, it's done well. There's a film with that lassie that was in that film with Tom Cruise with his Tom Cruise clones. Angela, well, it's not Angela Lansbury, Angela Riseborough. Yes. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It's all that about her. I only made ten grand. Yeah, and people are going, "How has she been nominated?" It's bollocks. It's all ball. Who cares? Uh, I like the only the t- the takeaway moments is short round hugging Harrison Ford. Isn't he short round's wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? And he uses proper name Data. Yeah, yeah. Short, but I love short round. <laughs> he's great. But he was a he was he was a refugee. His story's great. His story's great. Act. He gave he, up acting. He's got act again. He went to chunk. He's charming. And he said, "Chunk, I want to get back into acting because I watch Crazy yeah. Rich Asian. Could there be a place for me in Hollywood?" <laughs> and I've seen this film. Aye. I've been you know offered it. What should I do? So chunk goes, "Listen." It's up to you. Let's get back into it and see what happens. And he gets a fucking oh. Oscar. Good for him. Cheery. But Charming. <coughs> what I find annoying about... <coughs> oh, you're dying. Di- di- all this goodness and all this nice... 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's time! It's my time! The uh, they get hundred thousand pound gift bags. It's all such a load of shit. Everybody hates. But I hate those. You've I, got to pay I taxes prefer, on them now. I prefer Crufts to the Oscars. Crufts doesn't get on TV now Crufts, because everyone's what? against it. I watched it. It's on Channel Four. Was it back on TV? Because everyone was against it because no. of the inbreeding. Oh, they've, the dogs. Cut, they've cut down. Well, yeah. Do you think there's no inbreeding in fucking Oscars? Have you seen the weirdness of half of them? I understand, but it's not the, the same. What made me chuckle was the think these films are serious art. Now, I don't really believe it. Most of it's all shite. But uh, Wakanda Forever, they thought it was a very serious film. Yeah. It's it's a superhero film. It's shite. It's a pile of shite. Now, but I'll be Angela honest, Bassett I got... sat there. She didn't clap. She was furious. She, she thought was... that was a role. Now, now Angela, Angela, I've seen you in fucking Critters 4 where you, do a, you get your tits out in a shower in space for a Critters film. I saw her do the longest death scene ever in uh, London Has Fallen, which was funny oh. as fuck. So, uh, and wait before you go, <coughs> and it just goes on forever. She, she's done great films. Smell she's the a great fat acting, looking stern and looking at the camera. Yeah, Comedy doesn't really get enough Oscar attention. A good comic performance is one. I saw last night, I watched that film, the Irish film, with the two brothers fighting on the farm, the kid with the downs. Who's won? It's oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I reckon is it good? A BBC I play it. Fucking that guy is gold. He's is fucking good? gold. Right, he is okay. gold. And I saw him interviewed, and he's fucking charming, and he's wonderful. He's gonna have a bit of a career. There's a lad. Um, he was up for an Oscar. Irish guy. He was in the Banshees of whatever it is. Yeah, he lives in Broughty. He lives in Broughty Ferry. He he's in Broughty. now you are up for an Oscar. Uh-huh. You come from Ireland. You're a world famous star yeah, now, and he does a great turn in it. Don't uh, get me wrong; he's really good. Uh, Keoghan is his name, yeah, like Barry. Barry Keoghan, and he's moved to fucking Dundee because his missus is from there. No, he's not but from he, Dundee, mate. Wait, he's from the fair. He's wait, hold the on. And you know what I saw? I uh, saw in an article that he's moved to a small town outside of Dundee called Broughty Ferry. It's Dundee, it's and no, people, it's in it's ferry, small town. people in the ferry, people in the ferry, it's got a distinctive they personality. Will, yeah, they've got more money than us. No, they no. refuse to admit they're there's from a, Dundee. There's all the it's all the D- Douglas minks think they're in the ferry, the West Ferry. You're like, you're oh, in, that's true. You're in Douglas. Do you know um, Broughty Ferry goes for miles north oh, outside oh, the, uh, out to sea? Out no out oh. north. Um, Does it? The road up to Letham, almost all the way there, that's Broughty Ferry. I had to deliver cars once and we were going through it. We couldn't have found this place. Oh, oh. Miles out, they come under Broughty well, Ferry. I've seen the Banshees in a Sharon and I found it I found it amusing. Amusing. Because it's a dark humour. Yeah. Bit. Irish people hate it. It's hated in Ireland. And why is that? Because they think it's it portrays Irish people as stupid paddies. It's generally, honestly, hated. Well, that's... the guy that the guy that directed it's a bit of a what's his name, him with the bad teeth, with the pogues. All oh, right, okay, yeah, Sean McGowan. Yeah, is he not dead? No, but he's not Irish. All oh, right, but he's are this. All oh, like, right, okay, he's a bog Irish guy. He's not. He's fucking. He's an English guy, born and raised in England. Oh, so I think the director of the Banshees of Inisherin is similar. Gotcha. So he did. He did that three billboards outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Americans thought they'd got an Oscar with people said, This isn't very convincing. This is fake, fraudulent. And they're saying the same about the Irish thing. It's in the middle of the. Tr- well, that's like uh, Crouching Tiger. Amazing film, but made in China. Because people said, We're not running around yeah. with swords. We're a modern country. And they just didn't want to see more. <laughs> is that yeah. Chinese people didn't like it? Or yeah. is that the Chinese authorities didn't uh, like it? The Chinese people didn't like didn't it. Didn't like it, okay. Chinese authorities are quite keen on heritage. Was a ghost. No, there was no the ghost ch- in it. The Chinese authorities are not keen on heritage. No, it de- they've, de- done, they've demolished no, no. everything. No, no, no. It depends on the way they are viewed around the world. Yeah. So when they see this beauty of Crouching Tiger, they're going, "Oh, that's fine." Oh. But the people are like, "No, we don't like this. Oh. We're modern. We're well." And that's what happened. Well, I, I went to, when I was doing my master's art. But they like Top they, Gun. When I was doing master's art school, there was thirty Chinese students in the year. Yeah. Because that was the year the Chinese sent out, basically. They, they sent out their students. They wanted to learn because they were wanting to modernise. Not the culture. They were wanting to... The, the, the Chinese Olympics was coming up. Yeah. They were wanting to... Because st- Britain, funnily enough, is well regarded in the arts. What? Advertising the we're arts. The arts. Cu- yeah, we're yeah, the arts. Fuck. We're the arts. We're in the basement level of we the arts. We are the arts, though. But So they hate it. They hate the Banshees of Inisherin. They find it oh, like... I could understand it's that. It's like... Yeah. It, to them, it, it smacks of... Um, 
So, oh God, I'm, I'm having a good... I've not had any coffee today. Oh, that's not good. The one with the village that keeps missing in Scotland. It's not far, far. <laughs> you know. Uh, 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 yeah. We're off to such and such a place. Yes, that was hated here. We hated it. Hated. We're all idiots. Braveheart. <laughs> no, <not> Braveheart. <laughs> hated. Rob Roy. Hated. Rob Roy. That was the best one. Because the it was... The coup that gets shot. It was uh, um, Jessica Lang's accent. Dude, it's no <laughs> Jessica Lang's accent, it's Liam Neeson's. Oh, he doesn't care, he just stays the, the same. The Irish can't do a Scottish accent, and vice versa. I will have you know I'm a direct descendant of Rob Roy, as uh, most people around here, yeah. but I am. And yeah, you stick to fucking sheep, not stealing them. He, well, okay. Next next story. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, now, I didn't know this. This is uh. going to, You're going to think I'm really stupid for the first time ever. But it turns first. out Gary Lineker was a footballer. Yeah. I didn't know. I just found out because he's in the news and he used to play football. I saw him in his uniform a, running around. He's a poacher. He just sat, yeah. This, didn't know. Uh, this is an interesting thing. Okay. They're trying to... Wealthy people, and this isn't coming across from... People say, oh, you're just jealous of the wealthy. I'm fucking not. But they've got it all sewed up. Okay. Wealthy people, it's generational wealth. Yes. It's all... They're all in fucking... They all go to the same schools. They all know each other. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're fucking polluting the environment. They're in positions of authority everywhere. Agreed. They're in the they're in the media. They're in the political class. They're in the military class. Po- officer class. They're fucking ruling over us, and they all play. They all sing from the same fucking hymn book. Yes. Working class people who get wealthy mm-hmm. tends to be football players in this country. If you think about it, that's true. They have yeah. been working class. They've got a bit of fucking. Compassion to them yeah. So they like to speak out But they try and shut them up Because they say You're wealthy You're like us Yeah You've got to side with us That's that. You and know they try what? and destroy them That was Was uh, um, uh, George Carlin Said yeah. That you don't need a conspiracy No Everyone's just from what you said All their um, Yeah their goals yeah. intersect at some point. Yeah. So it's very easy when they yeah. go to the same golf clubs, they go to the same schools, they go meet to the other. same... It's like anything. You know people, that's how you get friendships, connections. That's, that's how human beings work. But yeah, again, he, 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 Gary Lineker, I'm not some huge fan of him, but yeah. he's allowed a fucking opinion. The problem was, it's on the BBC, I yeah. believe. Well, no, but what they're trying to do with the BBC, the BBC, its argument is, everyone hates us, so it must be doing something right. Nah. That's our argument. They, they're, they're supposed to hold the the, the political part. Whoever's in power, the BBC is supposed to criticise them. Okay, but they're so fucking mild. Everything's so fucking mild. But the the Tory party would like to see the BBC and eradicated. This people think, oh, but this is ter-. no, this is a plan. Mm-hmm. They're planning to destroy the BBC. They're planning to destroy the NHS. They want to destroy everything and just privatise everything. That's what they do. That's what they did to council houses, the Tories. That's true. The council houses. But I wouldn't compare the BBC to a council house. I would say the BBC has to go. Put no, it streaming. No, I, no. Put it streaming. I, pay no, for it. No. Pay for it if you want it. No, the, no, but the, the, no, but the BBC. No, because the BBC done well. There's niche stuff that would not exist in streaming. There's like a see here a stuff for deaf people. Yeah. That wouldn't really exist. The BBC, particularly BBC Radio, it does stuff that's so niche and local, which nobody would pay for. If you get, a, if you, if you remove, if you just everything, I'm if, the commercial model means some stuff just doesn't exist anymore. But I am against a hundred percent against the license fee that you're forced to pay a license fee to have a it's, television. It's annoying, on. Yeah. But, I'm 100% but the, against the it. The BBC done well, I've no problem paying a licence fee. But mm-hmm. the BBC as it's going, no. I'm, but they I'm, said it. They said in, by 2030 it's going to be not terrestrial no, but, anymore. But It'll who, be gone. Yeah, but who's 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 the, the main people that want to destroy the BBC? It's come from Sky. It's Rupert Murdoch. It's, 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 I understand. Um, but to have uh, uh, someone like that that wants to destroy it or like... You know, you've done a line of things there saying it's the NHS, the BBC. But if you take the BBC out yeah. of that and look at it separately, there's problems with that as well. Like, and oh you, no, it, we BBC. do have a government controlled TV station that we are forced it's not, to it's, pay. It's not, it's not state media, though. It is as close as you want it's, to get. It's not quite state it's media. It's as close as you want no, to get. That's a dis- that's well, let's have them attacking the royals then. Yeah, no, I agree with you. But they, they don't. They, they don't. There's a coziness, but it's not state media. State media is the Russians. And then you hear, no, but 
uh, to a Western degree, we're the only country that has this, and yeah. we only uh, and you still have remember I'm in no the one, times of no one fucking adverts man. crisis in the the different things when you heard uh, they weren't allowed to play certain music on yeah, yeah, yeah. different days. Well, I'm not saying it's no need. Uh, I'm not saying it's not needing a, a lot of changes. But I, I would. Think, I think the model could, uh, the model could work. No, no, I would end it. No, because they'll just nah. They'll come after it. They're doing that at the NHS They're making it so No I can't it compare work. the BBC To the NHS though No but it's part of the same Overreaching plan It's all It's to get rid of anything Yeah but if someone If that's their plan To do something That's their plan I'm coming from a different perspective Where I disagree with But, but who will it is But if you get rid of the NHS And you get rid of the BBC You get rid of these kind of things It yeah. doesn't benefit Anybody it doesn't I'm not, ordinary I am people. not And would never advocate For getting rid no, of the no, NHS No 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 But it's, it, yeah But, but the BBC the, 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 end, the end of the BBC Yeah Will lead to it all, uh, The market will be flooded The well, media is not left wing No well, I've got a, as, as, that's as, true. as mildly As mildly liberal mm-hmm. As the BBC is And I say it's mildly Yes If that's gone What have you got? All your media's right wing, but no you have left. to remember that's that's to a degree. You have to remember though that you were talking about the the ruling classes there, and that yeah. who, that's who runs the BBC. I do have an issue with it. Mm, yeah, I'm, to have a, a local accent the, every now the, and the, then yeah. is the that's the, bullshit. The mild the mildest of left wing stuff they speak about in the BBC. It's very mild. I can't that support vo- the BBC. That voice is gone. Mm-hmm. Without the BBC, all you get to have ITVs. You can have your Channel 5s, but the, hold on. all the media. You're talking It'll about... It'll foxify No, no, well. no. You're talking about these uh, channels. They're all dying. These they, Their days are numbered. No, no, but in their... Da- saying, but the thing is... The average think, but, age right, of a BBC viewer is like 65. Are boomers, are boomers. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, There's done. a lot of boomers. The the bo- the boomers are going to take a long time to die out. Yeah, but they are They are they're, the, they're, they're, they're peak. They're going. But they, no, but no, the country's not getting younger, mate. No, that's true. But you don't have their uh, boomers. You have to remember is you don't automatically become conservative the older you get, right? But what does happen, mm-hmm. right, is the uh, generational Aye. attitudes do travel with people as their fashion does. Yeah, and you'll the, see the, a the different young, view. The young people who are so liberal today, yeah, will harden in the old fucking nimbies. It well, the the story. What, what is the saying? Uh, Show 100%. me a man who isn't uh, yeah. on the left when he's young, and you'll yeah. show show you a man without yeah. a heart. Show me a man who isn't conservative when he's older, and I'll yeah. show you a man without a brain. And I know where that comes from, but I also but you, have you, you think, more faith in and people. And then you think, no, but then no, but then you think, oh, so TV's terrestrial television is dead largely. Yes, and then I'll just go into like YouTube, yeah. and that's just a fucking hell. An, abs- a hell. an no, absolute I, no, hell No, because there will be a desire for other things And then the new uh, be, natural evolution no, of what it will but become But there'll be no, there'll be no even attempt At like keeping a balance I, I think it's failed miserably mm-hmm. But it attempted to have this kind of middle ground To have a balanced approach Well things. here's what's happened, that here's where I disagree here's where I, here's where I'll disagree Because it, the internet, you have to remember Our media was based on media from Hundreds yeah. and hundreds of years ago It's never changed Even mm-hmm. when radio came mm-hmm. along They had the same approach mm-hmm. When TV came along They had the same approach To deliver yeah, news yeah. And things like a that A paternalist approach So the modern view Of what the news is And stuff like that It's only changed in the last few years yeah, yeah. And we're in a period of flux Where I'm going to say something We still don't know What the internet is yet Because yeah. we're still Rolling I, through it I don't it, think it's getting suddenly out of it No there will be an evolution Because there is a desire in people I, d- I don't think it'll last a lo- long enough well, no, no, listen, no, 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 this is good news Folk today. Are so entrenched. We're fucked up because we're miserable cunts. We're no, fucked no, up no, and we've no, got no, political. No. We're getting out of it. So, my story number three. I love three. the BBC. Fuck them. Power. End them. Uh, D- when David Attenborough dies, we'll see what happens. Oh, he went to Sky. And and did, he, did he take some American money? Yes. An 800 year old gold hoard was found in Germany. Gold hoard? A hoard. Oh. And they said. I had beautiful earrings and I saw them and it looked like a, a melted chocolate coin with jewels stuck in it. If I bought them for my girlfriend, she'd throw them at me. I'd love Ugly. to find a hoard. Now a friend of mine, Andy, goes, uh, he goes uh, uh, metal detecting. All, all right. 
He's found some great stuff, medieval rings, all kinds of things. Oh, that's nice. It's wonderful, that's really, really wonderful. But he goes to one of these, um, can they have a wee club meeting and they'll get together and have super yeah. flasks and that. Oh, nice. But he said, I think one of the other, one, a group of them were faking stuff, they were seeding the ground. Oh. Because metal detectorists are not, they were starting to get a little bit of legitimacy. Yeah. Can the authorities were starting to say, well, if you follow procedure, this, yeah. will, this is fine. But no, they're just lunatics. Because there's also a lot of, uh, they don't say they found things, and there's yeah. stuff goes out of the country yeah. instantly yeah. sold. But as that. soon as you take it away from where it's found, it loses all value. Yeah, but, but there's some genuinely expensive shit being found. Up, up and all, up gone. And all, oh, there's a guy in the Scotland recently found this, like a, a an ox head thing. Mm -hmm. you, you've never seen anything like it. Unbelievable value to this thing. £100,000. Oh. But there's a guy up in Orkney, I was up there on the holiday, and there's everywhere there's fucking historic sites. Mm -hmm. he, 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 if everywhere, it's it's nuts. He was making these little pottery Daleks, and when he was walking past places, he was like, oh, oh nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, right? We should get pottery, uh, right? Make our own pottery. We'll get it. And then it. put UFOs on it. Oh, bury and it land it. And then bury them all over the place. Well, they did. Oh, I, no, I'm doing it. Oh, I love I'm, I'm buying I it today. Love, I love shit like that. I'm buying it today. I love shit. Because you like can get the stuff you just sort of, you, you can dry in I your oven, it. eh? I love it so much. Oh, oh my God, let's pit, do it. Pit down man. They just yeah. took a chimp's jaw. And, <laughs> oh, there was a, they made a mummy in Egypt from a recently dead woman. This, the Chinese stuck two dinosaurs together. I love shit. I just love shit like that. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. 100%. I'm going to send for someone on Amazon on today, so There's I'll get two, it tomorrow. The, the Shadwell Shams, I think they're called. Yes. <clears throat> it was two brothers in London. And have you heard of mudlarking? You know what mudlarking is. No. You need a license <clears throat> to mudlark. Okay. And in London, you can down to the foreshore of the Thames. Right. And you can just walk along and find stuff. And t the, whatever you think about London, London has just got... It's the most historically diverse city in the entire world. Right, Because okay. it's this huge amount of time and just the Romans... I imagine you're going to get a lot of mopeds. Yeah, well, mopeds and mobile phones yeah. and, like, offerings, hint seeking Hindu offerings and all kinds of stuff. But you'll find a medieval coin, a clay pipes, like, by the billion, because people just... Yeah. People have always been scruffy cunts throwing their stuff in the ground. But the Shadwell Shams, so these were these two brothers... And they, they, they made a meagre living by finding stuff. There'd be coins and that they'd find in the mud. But they thought, oh, we'll do better than this. So they started to make fake artifacts. They're called the Shadwell Shams. So it's like Arthurian legend shit they were oh. making. And I've seen them, and they're better than real stuff. That, I'm it's, more interested in that yeah. than the real stuff. The best... One of 100%. Our, one of the best art shows I ever saw was a... Hey, what's his name? I can't remember a fucking name. You've not had your coffee. I've not you started had moaning this morning. Moaning. You're fuck it's meant moaning. to be a good day. Hey, what's his Look name? Look what I called it. Good news. Hey, 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 uh, <laughs> him, him, him that dresses is the lady, the artist. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Because you've said I can't remember. I've forgotten now. I've told you it's contagious. Yeah. yeah. But he had a show in London called The Tomb of the Unknown Craftsman or something. Okay. God. And it was fucking extraordinary. Mm -hmm. So he made this huge, like, sarcophagus tomb. To, and there was artifacts. But what was great about it, he would have fake kind of things he'd made, silly sculptures and all this yeah. kind of stuff. But they were interspersed with real things. Right. So there'd be an African fertility thing with a giant walloper in it. Right. And you you couldn't think, is that real? Is he you made didn't it? Know. Oh, it's wonderful. beautiful. That's a great idea. It's wonderful. I... Don't like real Rolexes tags. I don't like all things like that. Proper That's my watches. fake fake Rolex. That's fine. Now, L do you know what I Rolex. love? Mm. Fake cheap crap watches that don't work. Yeah. So when someone goes, my friends used to go Grace on holiday. Grayson Perry. Grayson Perry. My friends used to go on oh. holiday and they'd come back and they spent. Uh, they said twenty quid for that. Yeah. The the winder wouldn't turn. Oh. Uh, the battery ran out after a week. Mm -hmm. And I love them. You... Fake Rolexes, okay. fake but badly made ones. But have you seen the Rolexes? That are like love it. Four hundred quid. The the fake Rolexes, but there's different good? tiers. Yeah. And you can barely tell. Oh, that's because they're making them in like factories. Just yeah. Like, and it's all tooled. Oh, wonderful. Rolexes famously don't keep time. They they're fast after just a couple of weeks. And I'm, you keep... I'm not a big fan of Rolexes. The one good thing about a Rolex is it's so ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. If you got kidnapped in the fucking somewhere in Africa, yeah, 
held hostage, you can bargain your way out with a Rolex because a lot of the special forces guys have got. They to know be what, fair, mm-hmm. if I if I kidnap someone, yeah. and they went, give me the Rolex, yeah, and I can get away. I'd go, no, I'll give, give me the Rolex. It's now mine. What we'll bargain your way out of a situation? Say to somebody, can I need to? It's no, it's now my Rolex. Yeah. You are kidnapped. Yeah. But they do. It's, it's a barterable thing. I saw a video yesterday and it was a New Zealand uh, soldier in Ukraine. Okay. And he running into this um, like basement in a house and there's a guy there. Huh. Get on the ground, see your hands. The guy shouts, New Zealand, New Zealand. He looks down and went, oh, brother. The guy was held prisoner for months. Oh, fuck. And his friend ran in and raided the place and he was left there and he found them. Thought they were a way to fucking shoot him. It's Jesus. This, they're killing people with like sledgehammers. Oh, shit. listen, this is good news. Stop. You need it. Right. New rules. Every day before you come in, you have to have your coffee. I, I don't normally have coffee, but I didn't have enough to eat this morning. No, you need food. You need a full I meal, need a, a I, pie. I had a bit of toast. No, this is not any good. When we get the studio done up, We'll have a fridge full of pepperamis. Now, I'll, I'll let everyone know uh, who hasn't heard yet, but we are getting a new studio, mm-hmm. a lot bigger, so people can Twice come and visit size. us. We've got visitors. Patrons mm-hmm. can come and visit. How about this could be a bunk bed. There's got. Oh, remember, no. the, remember the eighties. <laughs> remember that shape. Me and my brother had one. Can the bunk beds made out of chipboard? Yes. And if you moved, you, the you, whole the, thing. Mo- yeah. The, the, you couldn't. You could never move house with them. Yeah. Well, you built them and they pieces, there, Yeah. 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 Well, the I'll thing have is, one of them. I've no a car shaped bed. We're not having a bed in it. Well, so we're building the studio. Sh- long. No, we're building the studio. Uh huh. And it's I'm designing it at the moment. There's loads going into it. It's actually mm. going to be quite classy for us. Well, I had a thought in my yeah. studio. We have this bulkhead, right. so we could build it. We could build it. The table around it, so it slots in. Let's yeah. do it. Either side. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. So it gives us even more space. Now, the only thing you've requested is a fridge. Is a fridge. You've said you've not said. Oh, I was, I'll be. I wanted a chaise long. I'll have but I was, tons I was, of uh, fucking wood delivered. You've not said. Well, I'll be there to carry it up three flights of stairs. No, no, I won't be. You, you've not said anything. You just went. There's the space, but I want a fridge. I've got. I've got. I've got wood. I've been still. Not because I'm excited. Because I've actually <laughs> got wood in the studio. Oh, good. I've been stacking it up here. Oh, I've got handy. a lot of wood, and we're going to have a beautiful background and. Mm-hmm. Lighting, um, and like that, uh, I know people think because the show's doing really well, we're making millions. It, I've it's cost me thousands. I've made nothing, <laughs> and it's a way to cost us even more. And it's made nothing, but we do it because we we'll love it. And I've oh, even wow. seen a lovely kind of camera. We're on the cusp of sponsorship. I'm thinking we're going to get sponsorship. Uh, yes, uh, we are. Yeah. But we'll wait and see. But the, the new cusp. camera is a Sony. Ten a gentleman. I would. I don't care. I would I'd wear it. I would anyhow. just sit here and shite myself to show how I good remember, it is. I remember what I've like Women's Weekly, the, the um, letters page, and the funniest thing didn't I ever read saw. It, huh? Didn't yeah. read it. Because yeah. when I worked in the shortbread factory, all they had in the cafeteria was Women's Weekly, so I used to read okay. them. And one woman had written in to say they'd been the holiday in Tormelinos, and her husband had got the shits, <laughs> so she'd made them nappies out of plastic bags. So she'd cut holes all like ponchos for his cock. And he pulled them on and he was just allowed to shit himself. Why wouldn't you just stay in? And she'd run. Because <laughs> he wanted to go to the pool. <laughs> so, she, she, so she had this poor bastard modelling a spar bag. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's been discovered. Uh-huh. Muscles squirt their offspring. Okay. And there's this is their scientific term. Their squirting sessions can last three to six hours. Mm. Eh? I watched dams, a damsel fly orgy in BBC. Oh, yeah, <laughs> let's da- keep we da- the BBC. We, we David Attenborough <laughs> the other day. It was fucking sexy stuff. No, it wasn't. Wings going. Now, speaking of sexy, squirting. Have you seen when f- coral reefs just jizz at the same time? Yeah. Imagine it's, swimming in that. Oh, <laughs> oh bleachy oh, clue. It's in my ears. <laughs> this coral coming out of your lungs. <laughs> Oh. DNA from four US presidents, including George Washington, uh, is getting sent into space. He had wooden teeth. But why would you send them he into space? Teeth. I think if you the, the aliens got him uh-huh. and grew him, and it just he appeared as George Washington. I watched. He'd have very different attitudes, I shall watched, we say. I watched last night classic. 
Twilight Zone episodes. Oh, nice, nice. What, uh, you, what one? Oh, all of them. Thing in the Wing. W- uh, which is nothing but memes now. Yes. It's amazing. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, the guy with the guy, Burgess Meredith in the library. Mm-hmm. He smashes his specs. Wonderful. The one where a, a Jaws from a, a James Bond. Yeah. He shows up with a big domed head. That's right. And they're the aliens and they're like that. We're here to serve humans. And f- fly to Yeah, them. that's it. Serve humans is a fucking recipe book. Oh, Great. Oh, I love it. So good. Yeah, they're all very good. They're so good. With that that buff, that jizzed out nerd culture, the Twilight Zone. Yeah. I'm a big believer. Without Twilight Zone, you'd have none of your shit. I've been watching a new series of Picard. Oh, I've got oh, a couple in. It's, it's all right. It's turned itself around. Because I'm going to be honest, Things I was scared to say how shit the first the, two were first because two were... people are saying, no, you're just being no, bigoted, every, you're being, every, the... every it, was it was terrible. Shit. Everybody thought it was shit. This is not bad. This is actually start. You know all they need to do now? Put some fucking lights on. No, that's not going to happen. Put some lights on happen. and it'll be proper no, Star Trek. they're never going to do that. I want to see flat studio lighting. They're never going to do Put it. some fucking lights on. I enjoyed on. it, Picard. It's good. It's actually He's getting okay. He's a bit okay. Uh, Look at that order Yeah he's a bit old He is like 150 I know Bumblebees Learn by watching other bumblebees I Well I know this because I saw a bumblebee Yeah And the the plant It needed the pollen Right But the plant has got a kind of tubular thing That the bumblebee can't get access to So this bumblebee had learned Mm -hmm. To fly in Nip the, the, the stamen I'm mm-hmm. not sure I don't know my pl- Flowers are sexy fuckers. Sex dirty, stamen They're dirty fuckers And vibrate its wings At a certain rate Where the thing just Or oh, the pollen just fell out That's it amazing learn this Like I saw a bumblebee The other day The, the first bee bumblebees You see are the big ones Yeah They can tolerate the cold But they're Fogies. out They're out already because I think ivy will, ivy's one of the things that kind of flowers quite early. Mm-hmm. So they can get in a bit. I love bees. Bees are great. You ever had bumblebee honey? No, I haven't. If you're out in the countryside, okay. there's a little tip for you. You see a bumblebee, mm. keep, keep your eye on it. Follow, Follow it. it. Follow it back in the loft and nest in a wee mouse hole. Uh-huh. And you watch when it's going back. And you can take down, take down. You can ruin its house. And you can find, no, you, you don't steal all. Just put your finger in. Just get a little bit. Just get a little what if it's mouse shit? <laughs> no, it's not gonna be mouse shit. It's <laughs> it but might have been mouse. No, there was a, there was a, those bumblebees <laughs> nested in one of my um my tree boxes for the sparrows and that. And I ate some of the honey. It was delicious. Mm, it was so nice. You'll just put your finger in anything. I'll finger anything. Anything. Since I've met you, your fingers t- you touch anything. Oh, you have to. An eighty-year-old woman. That's the world. Uh huh. An eighty-year-old woman ran a five k. Every day since the pandemic, she'd done 1,000 in a row. Fuck. 80 years old, 1,000 5Ks. Why? Well, why not? It's a waste of time. She could be watching, right. Mat- could be watching Matlock. You are not allowed to come in here without food. This is a good day. A cemetery. How, how, do, you, how do you know she's done it? How do you but believe? Does it stop she'll it? Ha- she'll stop have, being cynical. She'll have dementia. She thinks she's running. She's not leaving the Brendan, living room. Brendan Fraser is oh, a great man. Okay. And Right. A cemetery posted a personal ad for a goose whose mate had died. Ah. Uh-huh. And they found a match. I'm assuming another goose. <laughs> well, <laughs> but it might not. Now I read that out loud, it might not be. The, 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 the warehouses up north, because I'm from the heart of the whiskey country. The warehouses where they keep the whiskey, they're mm-hmm. guarded by geese. Mm-hmm. They're the most effective guard. They're better than dogs. I have, and if you went in with those geese, you were a fucking dead I man. Have you have stitches, by a goose? I have stitches across yeah. my knee. You may have been bitten by a duck. Uh, Cruel. Uh, yeah, once your oh, finger's in there, it's, no, you don't know, like, there's about a million teeth. Yeah, yeah. And they're all pointed. They're, they're tongues of teeth. We've discussed a, a mallard's penis before, haven't yes, we? Yes, they have teeth as well. Teeth. There's teeth Everything's everywhere. Teeth. Toothed. Because they're fucking T-Rexes, no, man. They're, they're there's they're just teeth everywhere. Killing machines. But no, I've got stitches right across my mm. knee because of a fucking goose when I was taking a shit. I was attacked. Snitches get stitches. And that's what happened. More cyclists... Uh huh. Now have airbag jeans. I've seen similar. Now they're good, but when you fall over and get up, it's hilarious. You've got giant legs. Is it? Do they work on speed? 
I think it's can if he deceleration. Can if he just fell in the street and you? Yeah, <laughs> if you if you tripped, and you, you bang, let somebody bumped into you in a up. bar. Huge, huge legs. Really funny. That's great, isn't it? You look like Sam Smith on the red I've, carpet. I've, I've seen a guy coming off his bike, and yeah, the, the whole body, everything just. He's. Do you get them for old people in uh, um, that are doddery in Japan? And they wear these vests, uh-huh. oh. and you see them falling, and a hood goes right oh, over their that's head. Wonderful. That's it's, marvelous. It's brilliant. Have you seen the wee power suits for old people in Japan? Yeah. It's great. Getting better I love all the that time. shit. Yeah, we exoskeletons. Mm-hmm. A man who didn't read or write until his late teens becomes Cambridge University's youngest black professor. And I thought it was a lovely story. That's unusual. Cause that's a lovely story because a lot of people. I was led to believe if you don't, it's again, it's more difficult to read the longer you leave it. Yeah. So that's that's incredible. Isn't that incredible? And clever, Late teens. clever guy. Yeah, obviously. So you don't that's know the situation. We, I don't know the situation. We, that's why we need libraries. I agree. They're all getting closed. Not down. the BBC. We need libraries. No, the BBC has library stuff. No, it doesn't. The um, that's what's really wonderful. Isn't that a good it's story? It's like the Grass Arena. That was an alcoholic guy who became a, a chess grandmaster. After years drinking meths in the street. Jesus. He was just a fucking genius. And he'd battered his brain. Battered it. Oh, and still... Homeless, yeah. Oh, my God. I think he's still alive. He's a very kind of difficult man to go on with. Again, they published a book and he fell out. He's, he's a bit fascinating. That uh, guy that... Yeah. Mark Rylance played him in a, a show called... A, 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 a drama called The Grass Arena. It's oh, right. God, okay. I'll look out for that. Heinz. The Soup People. Yes, or buying a boat for a man who was lost at sea for a month and survived on nothing but Heinz ketchup. Now, saying that ketchup, I'd be like, I don't want a boat. Can a problem with ketchup? No, it's good. No, we have to keep it in the fridge now. Yeah, you used to just be able to keep it in the cupboard. They've reduced the good shit in it. They've, there's less salt and vinegar. There'll be in less. It. Yeah, there'll be less good sugar shit. in it. <laughs> so I'm surprised he's probably survived at old ketchup. New stuff, he'd be dead in a day. Oh God, never thought of that. Yep. Okay. We think Heinz beans are such a British thing, but Heinz is an American company. It's, I've always found that strange. Here's magical news. Oh, here we go. AI was employed to find artificial deep space signals. Mm-hmm. And it's found eight that are being investigated for the so, first time. It's, just, it's probably my stomach rumbling. Is it, I could hear it now. <laughs> But isn't that that's what AI's fa- fa- that's, that's This is where, yeah, this is the problem They were using uh, algorithms to search for things mm. And the thing, the algorithm is only as good as the person making it mm. But AI now mm-hmm. is, is learning as it goes yeah. And they found eight signals mm-hmm. And I think two of them have already been looked at before And they're like, oh, let's oh. have a wee look at these again But imagine Yeah Not to be downer Imagine the AI Yeah Discusses things with this alien AI, and the alien AI sends it, and it advances itself. That's how we're going to come to an end. Hold on, it says kill them no, all. No, no, kill them all. I figured that out. Kill what them all. If the AI thinks like us mm. and makes fake pottery and starts making fake signals just for a laugh, I, won't. I don't, I don't, I don't. AI can appreciate pottery. No, not it, pottery. They're making. F- it says I've found e- signals. I don't AI. It, could AI has AI got a sense of humour? Yes, Does I it? saw a thing where it was writing jokes, and you're like, they're not jokes, but I see where it's going. Two weeks later, you're like, they're actually proper written oh jokes. God. and that was about two months ago. So I don't know what oh, it's no. doing now. The la- ev- you look back, but original jokes. Every week good I stuff. say, I wonder how the AI's getting on, and it's like, Terra- f- f- yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, no, I think it's just the next stage. Oh, it's fuck. like um. When digital cameras came along, right, it's like where would you go after digital? Well, no one thought that you'd remove the camera, and this is the next stage. It's just, it's a, just an evolution. But we I'm are, not. we are, an evolution. We're the analog part. We're like, yes, we're, we're like, the placenta. We are VHS. We're gonna get replaced. No, no, no. We're not even that. We are the primer for the next stage in yeah. evolution. Which the crystalline like, entity. Well, say we can't, we can't. Travel the universe. No. The ultimate thing is to go out. That's what humans do. They explore. Don't think they should. Do, well, shh, listen. But we, at this point, we can't do it. But machines can. Yeah. They can take the knowledge of all well, humanity they say, and the, just the, go. Did Voyager not have a pair of tits on it? It did have a, a pair in a cock. <laughs> they were like, we're going to put this out into space, and a billion years from now, aliens mm. will come across it. They uh-huh. might come across it and find it and go, mm. "What's on it? Draw a cock." That's what they did. 
Don't aliens have cocks? No, they'll be like a, a coral reef. I think they'll, they'll be all just go in a big pool. Just go, you're no, just, just like, just, well, that day Picard had a thing. It just went, and just in the space. But I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Antisocial. And it's like, oh, imagine to have sex. It's like in a member. Odo off of uh, Deep Space Nine when he went onto his just planet and it got in his ears. But his ears were solid, that's why. His Aye, ears were filled not in. Let it in. Can't let it into your lugs. Uh, 23 year old Rose. Uh, now, this. Rose West. She's older no, she. not Rose. Rose, as in like a boat. Oh. Across oh, the Atlantic, okay. setting a record for a woman. Rowing across the Atlantic is the most. Upper class cunty thing you can possibly do. I despise people that do shit like that. Rowing across the Atlantic. Because they do it, and I'm like, fair play, you man. That's Enjoy fine, it. it's hard. It's difficult. Why do you want me to applaud you? That's I right, I agree. Uh, who cares? It's, it's like somebody juggling the street. I just ignore them. I can't be doing me that shit. And it's like just when a you're, juggler. Well, this young person just sailed around the world. So what? Everyone I know has to go to fucking I could, work. I could fly around the world. Who cares? Saved up. I don't cares. know. Rowing across the Atlantic. And they the tell you, oh, my arse is sore and it was tiring. You're like, Wah. of course, I knew it was going to be tiring. Uh, I, liked it, I liked it when Paula Radcliffe did a shit during the marathon. That's a highlight of my sport and watching. <laughs> Shutting her hand and just flung it. She <laughs> just fucking flung it into it. the. They kept going, it. and everyone's looking at her, going, "Have you seen the pictures?" They're all like, oh! just <laughs> They're "Terrified, her just shut, just squatted down, took a shit, and kept running." It's the kind of power we're like, isn't it? It's the kind of power. That poor Scottish lassie that wrote to all quite in the Western Front. She didn't get an Oscar. She was fucking fuming. I bet she was because she thought, "I'm at the table now." She's not quite to the table. No, she's not yet. She's in Hollywood now, which is good. You, you went to well, the Oscars. Yeah. You got to wear a frock. The, the doors are open, so she's going to get to do other stuff. But if she'd won that Oscar, do you know we are becoming the cultural hub? Mm. A lot of people want to be the cultural artistic hub of Scotland and that, but it's actually becoming us. Hub. I have to say we're us. Everyone's looking in this direction. Oh, yeah. And you were saying the. You know, if people hate you, like the BBC, mm -hmm. you're doing something right. So we're at the top of that hate, fucking pile. Most, 90% of the people listening to this are just hate listening. Yeah, it's good. It is good. But they kind of like us as well. They yeah. hate, but they love a typical Dundee relationship. Do I see a present I got you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, I thought you were kidding. Uh, no, God. This makes me nerve. Oh, Jesus, what is this? Enjoy. <sighs> You paid money for that. Ten pence. That I, I didn't. I got. I got it cheaper than twenty five pence. I got a mask. <laughs> tell him who. Tell him who it is. Is that is that Phil Collins? It's Phil. Look at his teeth. For that money, you think he'd get it? I've got a Phil Collins. My, have I, <sighs> thank you. It came and made me laugh. And I'm saying thank you it with did, a question mark it, at the end it, of it. it. How can you wear it? There's no string. There's no string. For 25, for 10 pence, I didn't get a piece of string. I'm going to put this up here. Yeah, it's this got will, to. This will live it's here. Well, I'll go, thank you very much for thinking of me, for That's getting okay. me a Phil Collins mask with poke-out eye holes. The eyes haven't been poked out. The original. Original. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. I'll hold up, hold on. So if you want to see this, because you're listening, just join us on Patreon ah, yeah, and no, you'll you get the to, full you video. This shit. You need to pay for this content. Two, as low as $2 a month. Although you can you can actually give us how, up to $5 a month. How much is a thing of Heinz tomato sauce? It's a lot. Oh, God, more than get... £2? Yeah, and, big... you, and you can't live on it now. No, you can't live on it now. So what's the point? Give us the money. Well, give us the money because we're getting a new studio and it's going to have curtains... A RGB fridge. lighting Fridge a fr You'll get your fridge Don't worry It's going to have um, I want a vibrating chair No you can't have that Because that's more You'll have it this chair No, I'm, no I don't I, I've never liked this chair I want We need to get I a new chair I found that chair downstairs in the we, hall We need to get new chairs <laughs> a New chairs I want one Like recliners I, I could get a you a recliner No not a vibrating And I want a built in potty so no. I can take a dump if I need to. I've got a Phil Collins. But why do you, why does this exist? I don't know. There was a vast selection. Your choices were One Direction, <laughs> uh, the cast of Harry Potter, Hugh right. Grant. There was, he went down well at the Oscars. Was, Did you see that? Oh, that was all English charm. He, uh, <laughs> he was just, just a dick. He's always a dick. Um, Eddie Murphy. But I thought, who's more your age bracket? And I thought it's Phil Collins. Eddie Murphy? Yeah. 
Eddie Murphy's more my age bracket. He's only a couple of years older, isn't he? Eddie Murphy's like 69 year old. Is he? I think so. Looking good for it. Looking good for it. Black don't crack. It's true though. Then again, I've said this before, but did you see him in Beverly Hills Cop? He's like 24. Ah, he's a young guy. Jesus, he's just well. a kid. He looks, he a, he looks the same. It's a black guy I saw on the TV the other day and he's not aged a day and I thought, what the fuck? He was unbelievable. Thank you. That's fine. Jesus. Moisturising though. I think it's all about moisturising after 50. I wish, I wish you were kidding about it. it was a, I thought you were joking that you had a present for me. but yeah, It's a present. Yeah, it's a present. Technically. It's technically a present, but I've got close-up of, like, damaged, it's so smoke-covered teeth. teeth. I know, it's awful. It's fucking, oh. It's just I don't want to look at I, it. I thought for a small amount of time it was uh, Steve McFadgen. I just, yeah, it's Phil, oh my but, God. He's tender, but it's, it's Phil Collins. His daughter has the biggest eyebrows it's in shit. Hollywood. She's kind of. Cutesy bullet bollocks. I, that, that one where she's, what is it, in... Paris I've never something. seen anything she's I've made. Seen a, I've seen clips from never it seen it's it. so Cutesy bad. Shite. It's so bad. It's awful. Wait, the oh, did I, speaking of boomers, so I had a conversation with a boomer the other day. Right, okay. And he goes, I've got a bone to pick with you. I says, oh, what's that? He oh. says, hey, how do you know? And I says, how do I know what? How do you know that the, the, the 42 billion years old, the universe or something? I says, well, I think science and whatnot has kind of got involved. Looked at Big 14 bang. billion would Big, be better. Big well. bang and whatnot. And he says, no, 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 but it's impossible. And I says, why is it impossible? He says, well, we've only been around for such and such. He says, where's man come from? And I says, I think evolution. And all this. He says, no, no, no. And he started going on about the cataclysm. Oh, and like, no. Fuck. And Fucking he said. Hancock. He said that. <laughs> He's, fucking you getting me This is good news day man He said that the fucking Law Hill Was once a pyramid And there was a giant A lightning storm Destroyed our civilization And then we had to fuck off into space And then come back again When the coast I'm not going to lie to you I love it You know what we should do But the funny thing was He was stood there looking at me I says no I says all oh, you're talking is really rubbish Yeah I says none of that's real So and what did white, he say? He says oh well that's what you think and I says, no, it's, it's, it's rubbish. Yeah. And he I says, I take it you've been getting this off the internet. And his wife came up, long-suffering wife, and she goes, I'm sorry. It's all he speaks about. Oh, God. So she's in the house all Just day. listening to this. Going on about okay. space pyramids. We've, we've, we've oh. gone full circle here. Right. This will make you happy. Right. I will, off my own money, purchase some clay, the air-drying stuff. I will make some UFOs. Uh -huh. And I'll do all sorts of hieroglyphics and stuff. I will seed it on the law for these people going up to do research, and they will eventually find proof on the law mm. of UFOs and it being a pyramid. I think you need to make it look like a space jizz. What's a space jizz? Space jizz. Jizz from what space. What does jizz do in space? Oh, it'll go completely round. Oh. You know, a, well, a shine a light through quarter it. Quarter mass. Yeah, when the, the they were space jets that came down. Oh, that's true. We we'll we'll make a true. few of them and leave them and like have them so they look smashed, and then throw some scrambled eggs. Oh. <laughs> Get some scrambled eggs, dye it with some food color green, leave oh. it in the car park at the law. Right, and it looks like it's shattered and it's green stuff. You know what we out. could do? What? Get a couple of bars of metal, like aluminium, uh -huh. and carve into <gasps> it. Some hieroglyphics that the law was a pyramid <gasps> and stuff, and we'll just leave it. You know what? I'm so stupid, and I know I am, but at least mm -hmm. I'm thick. Mm -hmm. I will spend money on this, mm -hmm. and I, I will, you. I will do it. I, love I wouldn't have make them out of plaster of Paris. I'd make them something more substantial, maybe a resin. Okay, I've got the materials. We could do that. Okay, we'll we'll say that the law was I'm a pyramid. So hungry, I can tell. You're not. You're, I'm bet. Can we get that belch in and it's flavourless air comes no, out? No, stop it! I'm here. This is so bad. I need so, to eat more. Yeah, you <laughs> you need to eat more. <laughs> you just need to eat the right times. When we get the every fridge, show. imagine this fridge. Right. I just go. Oh wait, 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 wait! You've just said fridge at your feet. No, that's gonna be there. <laughs> no, there's. I've already. There's a city wall, over there. Wall, here's there's a one. fridge. Wall mounted. Hit a button. Fridge opens. Pulley system. Just dangles a pepper army and I just lean back. He gets fed it. Goes round at the button. Out comes dinner. People listening to this will think you're joking. I'm being fucking <laughs> I know you're serious. being serious. I'm being serious, I man. I know you are. Or what about... Yeah. 
like that donkey. Yeah. It's like a pucker here. That button. Pepperami comes out. A pepperami dispenser. Just a pep. No. Like a pez, but a pepperami. No. We've just we've just been oh, talking I'm about. To get excited we've now. just been talking about how. I classy, fucking BBC. I don't care how classy get we're going to pe- make this. We're going. We were just talking about how it's going to be properly made and lit, and it's all going to be really nice. Mm. I've been looking for the right kind of carpet and everything. Wooden a pepperami this dispenser. Be a textured wooden background. Yes. With, with vintage wood. Yes, very vintage, vintage gorgeous, wood, gorgeous wood, we'll hundred year old at least. Yes, yeah, yes, we've got to get some wood, and it's all we've got it. It's going to go over the back. We're um, going to have book nooks. Well, instead of these shelves at the side of us, there's going to be a room divider with shelves on it, and all our gifts that we get from people are all going to be on display, all there. Yeah, and stuff like that. It's like wh- who I'm chasing is Neil at RMC, because he's now got a whole mill and arcades and. And display in a museum. We're going to have a museum no, to us. He's no flushing toilet, though. I could believe that. I've seen all the ducks out. He's we'll back a, there. We'll have, a wee fl- we'll have a little bee day. So we could watch it. You need the toilet. It's right there. <laughs> Just a bucket. <laughs> we'll have Timmy Mallet around Timmy's lap. I've got a little bit of... We've got yeah, diarrhea. You just sit there, son. Sit over there. Over there. We'll get the crisps Wipe, and wipe your arse with that mallet, because it looked quite absorbent, the mallet. Yeah, it looked like if it got wet, it would get damp. How uh, do you clean that thing? If we ever meet him, well, we'll he's always him. in Dundee. We'll try and get him on the he's show. Friends with Lorraine Kelly, I think we get the two of them in. I think Lorraine Kelly. I'm going to ask her to come yes. on the show. Yeah, good, good. So but, listen, I've spent fucking thousands on a new studio. We just need to say Dundee. She won't bother watching. Yeah. Well, who care with the Dundee thing? Yeah. And then she'll come. She's oblivious to the fact we're quite critical of Dundee. And her Like a moth to the flame <laughs> She's the moth Dundee's the flame That's And then yeah. we'll get her involved and get, her, get her a wee bit squiffy With some sherry Oh she Nah she'll yeah, she'll, she'll be on the sherry Before she even she'll gets in some, here ter- She'll come and say Awful things oh, That we can't awful. broadcast the Minute they start to the Minute we start to film Yeah Professional Kelly But So what I'll do Is I'll cover up the red light on that And say no we're not filming this one This is just off the cuff just be See See Immigrants See that <laughs> See that Charlie? No, he's a she's an ITV. See that Richard Mead like fucking shite him. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. So we are building a new studio. It's going to be great. No, a studio. It's a way of life. We're build. A, we're building. We're and bu- like I said, patrons, if you're in the area, you organise it. Don't just turn up. We'll and stab we're not, you. We're not paying for your travel. We're not paying for your travel. But if you're in but the area, you will, yeah, you you'll, be able, up, in. you'll be able to come in. You can see the studio and. Uh, even the things will make them do. Oh, the, the terrible, terrible, terrible things. things. That's why we're getting a city that's wiped we clean. Need, we need compromise on these people. All of them. All of them. To be fair, they follow us. That's enough. Yeah, no. It's not making them look good. I've heard somebody went for a job interview, and it's like Fight Club now. They're all all the listeners know each other. We need a code. I'm not going to say a, who. Do we need like a, a signal? But someone us? said they would pay to see you in a particular situation. Oh fuck! I have some kind of signal. Do you know who it is? The specs. Do you like that? Well, yeah, someone like that. Oh, it's Chris Shadow. No, it isn't. It's not Yoko. No, That's no, no. It. It's someone else. I'm not going to say who. Oh well. But uh, they would go. I'd pay to see that. Oh Jesus! And, and I was like, oh, they're not right. No, they're not. <laughs> they're right. not right. right. So yeah, so I'm quite excited about getting the studio because yeah, yeah. uh, the area that we're putting in is getting prepared at the moment, and mm-hmm. it'll be a while away yet. Oh yeah, because I'm a lazy bastard. And yes, I've, and it's going to take. I've taken out twenty bags of black black bags, and it still seems to be more. And yeah, I, that's what's going to happen. When I'm you're away clearing, down there after this, clearing something like this. Fucking hell! But um, and I got a look. I got a blood blister because I squished my finger for this. For this, that's an injury for this. Oh, and you dear. fuckers don't want to give us two pounds a month, you fuckers. No, well, that's not the way you encourage them to do it. You're going to stay at that side of it. Okay, I'm just well, going to say, it. okay, just come along and. But uh, what else are we getting? We're getting a settee for it. A settee. There's going, a to, there going long. to be a I second keeps, door. In I'll it. say this five times. I want a chaise long. Is there going to be a second? There's door? There's going to be the main door. Then there's going to be a side door. You're going to have a side door. Okay, I need to know that is because it has to be included in the design, uh, at the start. But that's not a problem. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really quite big. Because this is tiny. This is a tiny, tiny little space. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> this is this is a beautiful room. It's embarrassing. It's a great room. It's funny because when people come up, it's two things that go, oh, it's tiny. It's embarrassing. Or they go, oh, it's bigger than I thought. Oh, Jesus. So God. you're like, well, <sighs> it's weird how nothing comes across. No. And people have thought well, that we're taller. 
No, we've we're taller. It's just we're in a tiny little space. It's tiny. It's tiny. This is the smallest part of this whole studio. Yeah. And uh, under my, my mezzanine that I built. But that's, we're having to build, oh God, a lot. But the point is, it's going to be a new, oh, I heard the dog. Oh, no. It's floss. So all the patrons are welcome to come up and when when it's open and it's all running and there'll be videos of us building it, putting to it wear together smocks. yeah i'm not having them in with their street clothes oh god no we'll have to wear a snoot no like one of those hazmat suits yeah you can come yeah. in sit in the corner we'll have don't to fucking we'll speak. hose them down there's gonna be like a little uh, decamin uh, contamination oh there actually is because yeah. at the door yeah. because of um the yeah. way the door works and we're sort of blocking off mm, sound, so there'll we'll, be a decontamination. Yeah, we'll, we'll shower them down with hot soapy water. Okay. Well, you can do that. Empty and I know so, one person wouldn't be too uh, fussed at that. Okay. I think they'd be quite happy about that. Okay. Which I would call them a very unwell person. Ladies and gentlemen, that I tried to be... What up, B? Hap- was what? it Martin Lewis that did the thing? There was we a guy, were up, B. There was I was a guy up, that B. tried the show that was all positive news and he got yeah. done. I remember there was some time in the BBC back in the 20s or something, the BBC said, there's no news today. Yeah, that can happen. They said, nothing's happened. Listen, here, if you want to find out good news, mm-hmm. go and look. At, there's these little sort of poster things they do, and it's a week in uh-huh. science. Uh-huh. And what's happened in, from week to week is astounding. Uh-huh. We're moving forward oh, so yeah. fast. We're doing, it's, it's really, it fills you with a bit of positivity and a bit of hope. Yeah. But I came in here, and I even called the show Good News. You're, you're, and yeah. then you started. Oh. So from now on, you have to have your coffee and a pie before yeah, you come in pie, here. I'll have a pie. You've got to have food. This yeah. is terrible because you're pa- a bit hungry. Maybe some pastries. You're a bit hungry. I'm very hungry. Are you still having your coffee towers and everything? Oh, I did have a coffee tower recently. Oh, my God. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen. Good, goodbye. Cheery, cheery, cheery. Yeah. Everyone, just... Be a bit positive. A bit upbeat. Up Don't be like glass, go on. glass half full kind of people. I would suggest. I'm. I'm uh, very that much that way. Glass half full. I'm glass half empty at piss. Until next time. Later. Ta da.